Are we live yet? YouTube is doing funny things again, so I don't know if we are live or not. I'll just wait a second till someone arrives to tell me if I am, I am live or not. I think we are, since my uh, program I'm using OBS is telling me I am transmitting, so I, I should be, I should be live. Hmm, let's... Oh, sorry, I shut down the game, just a second. I'm opening the pop-up chat from YouTube. Oh, yes, we are. Hi, Giuseppe. So, let, wait a second, and here we go. The game is back online. So, we are, we have now an exciting new release, new X release. Today, guys, we're going to talk about Lord Tempus. So, I'm so excited about Lord Tempus that I forgot to say my usual intro. So, welcome back to my channel. I am ADC. And today, Lord Tempus, the king of all the uh, Tempus Guild guys. I really like the Tempus Guild. Uh, I like Deja Vu as a, as, a, as a ability, as a skill. So, I'm really eager to play with Lord Tempus. So let's talk about him for a second. Okay, so Lord Tempus uh, is one of those characters that will synergize uh, well with his guild and it cannot work without other um, allies from the Tempus guild, of course. Now, he is uh, a mage, he is a Gwemelite, and he has an interesting skill set. He has Deja Vu, uh, trigger um, for one red and one blue and one red and one yellow in both first and third skill. So that's very interesting. He is really a tactical hero. You will need to carefully m match up uh, his uh, yeah his opponents. So he will he will be really strong against some cards and really weak against others. And his second skill is an interesting shock three hundred and fifty. Uh, uh, with a single red die and plus 50 for each Tempus ally. So this shock can go as high as 450 for a single red and that's really cost efficient, very, very good. So let's keep Lord Tempus, of course. I think the best seal for him is the shield seal. And I will tell you why. He is, uh, he relies a lot on unmodifiable damage. So shield is synergic with that shock and that's, and that's good. And also, um, an unstable hero like Lord Tempus needs graves for certainty, for output. And the shield seal is the most certain and most uh, secure output uh, source you can go with. He will synergize well even with resilience, of course, and uh, somehow with thorn. But I think uh, shield is the best course of action for him. So. Let's resume our friend Tempus and let's start. Now, I will play him for sure, Lord Tempus, and I will play the announcer also. Now, the announcer, yeah, I prefer him with Thorn since he uses Blessing, so he's cool with that. I will use the Eternal, that's another certainty. And then, for the other two, I will start with this thing. Right, right there with Cronion and Watchmaker. Watchmaker is fine with Shield, but I am not satisfy, uh, satisfied enough by Cronion with uh, Thor now. So I think, hmm, what should I use? I think I'm gonna go with Cronion with Resilience, probably. He's good with yeah, he is good with shield though. Yeah, I will go with shield again. The, the Tempus Guild is uncertain. Their abilities, Portal and Deja Vu, uh, really depends on your opponent, uh, your opponent characters. So having shield as a way to, um, I don't know, to stabilize those heroes is something I like. So let's start with this one. It should be a great team. Guys, I'm really excited about Lord Tempus. He's gonna be tough to, to handle and tough to uh, use, but he's gonna be he has a lot of potential. He is really really a great great addition. He completes the guild now. 
as we uh, discovered playing the Tempus Guild all this time, ooh, and AIY, so a friend of mine, Italian guy, choose my hero. So I will start with the Eternal. So as I was saying, playing with the Tempus Guild, we, we realized that uh, Deja Vu in first skill is the probably the strongest one. And Deja Vu in first skill is the most interesting one, the, the one that will mess with your opponent's head. So having the two combined in a single character is really something. Yeah. Also, playing Tempus with four flow is really effective. Yeah, they, they, they can really unleash their true potential with the fourth roll. So Cronion, I think now, is pretty important in this team. Now that we have uh, double Deja Vu, uh, three, sorry, three heroes with Deja Vu in first skill, maybe uh, the Watchmaker is somewhat less important, but I don't know. I think he's still stronger than the the observer, so I prefer to do that, to use Watchmaker. So now, Chichis. Chichis is so much dangerous. Huh. I don't think we're gonna have an easy life against Chichis. I think we're gonna lose... Huh. I don't want to waste Lord Tempus, but I think... I'm sorry guys, I will probably waste him, but there's a reason for that. He is the only unbuffed hero right now, so... Okay, we have a bad rule, but still, still, so I sacrificed him, I'm sorry, but these two have uh, dodge, and dodge will be useful against uh, King Himrir and also Tanatissia, so... I prefer to sacrifice him. We will test him next game, since we're going to lose badly here. But that's okay. Chichis was so powerful with a perfect roll and also plus 120 damage. So no way we could have beaten him. So now, oh, Filia can't. Hmm. I will start with the Watchmaker. Should be good against all those three heroes. So let's see. Okay, so we're gonna remove all this plus damage from King Himrir. And also King Himrir is... Um, a defender now, so he will... Hmm, I didn't understand this move, to be honest with you. I think that he did a mistake here. Probably Tanatissia was the best one. I don't know. To sacrifice, of course. And then attack with King Himrir, and then using Filiacant in defense. I don't know. I think he does not stand a chance against my Watchmaker. Too strong. Yeah, the Watchmaker is really strong. This Spellbreaker here is really useful in this team, so he's a pillar of this team. Okay, now, Filiacant has hmm, Stench and also Strength Drain, so we will mess with Cronion. On the other hand, Tantissia has a, a big life drain and is a berserk hero. Yeah, I will go with the announcer here. It should be good against this this guy here. Should be a great matchup for me. Another red and it will be perfect. Yeah, perfect roll. It will be tough for Filikan to, to win, I think. No strength drain. That's fine. I will hit him hard. Okay, that's fine. Yep, should be good to go. Perfect! The first game was GG Easy.
very well. Now, we're gonna do another one, and this time I, <laughs> I hope I will not be forced to sacrifice Lord Tempus this one. This time, if I wanted to win, I needed to sacrifice him. So, let's climb. We are still in Gold League. I haven't played uh, outside of this streams. Oh, now we have Black Rain with a Monozil team. That's really interesting. So the Eternal. The Eternal should be great against Caravan. That's a great matchup. Should be, at least. Another blue. Oh, perfect roll. That's what I wanted. As you can see, this shield. Shield is massive. Oh, perfect roll from him. But still, I should be able to win. I think. Yeah, I think so. Really, really good. Okay. Now these this Tempus guys are really, really tough, 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 tough heroes. Now, he's gonna come at me with Bloodsword. So I'm gonna start with the announcer with a great deja vu here. Now, as you can see, the opponent needs to pay attention to these things. Now I'm gonna go full red and yellow if possible. Oh, that's what I was talking about. And I will de deliver a powerful blow to Elude right from the get-go. Look at that. 1,300 1, fireball. That's great. And I will almost completely avoid his scarab and forms. I will lend him a sword, but it, it will be my win anyway. Yeah. Everything went perfect. These deja vu's are really difficult to predict. Oh, now, that's interesting. Can I? Hmm. Can I use Lord Tempus? against Bloodsword and trying to... Oh, maybe I will go full shock here. I don't care. I will... Oh, yeah, let's go with it. Should be fine. Yeah, I will beat him. Sorry, Black Rain, but... I also delivered a tiny buff. So that's fine. Great shock portion. 1,800 shock, so plus the, the shield is 2,200 of unmodifiable damage, right there, so. He is good. Okay, so I think this is the perfect, the perfect addition to the Tempus guild. Now, I want to play something a little, little more versatile, but but also, uh, hmm. yeah, with Waliwaktu, without the, the Colossus, so less safe. Now for Waliwaktu, Thorn is still good, since he has Rage and he suffers from Scarab, so uh, Waliwaktu still needs Thorn. So this team is less safe, guys. But more versatile with Waliwaktu using portal, so Ooh. we have a mixed team here. Choose my hero. So I will start with the Eternal. Always a great pick. The Eternal is one of the best buffers in the game. Definitely. He wins a lot, even against heavy hitters or uh, top standalones can win, so... Ooh, with Deja Vu I can copy his Fireball. But I want to also use Dodge if possible. Okay, that's not a good roll. But I should be able to win nevertheless. Yep. Powerful Shock here. Perfect. Okay, so as you can see, guys, he won, even with a bad roll. So that's 
why the Eternal is so strong. This team maybe can actually be one of the best in the metagame right now, I don't know. I, I lost touch with the highest levels of the Master League this season, so I don't know what's, what's going on there. Oh, Reaper has Fireballs and Life Drains, so... I will go with Lord Demos here, just to try him out. Strength boost. Deja vu. That's fine. Not a perfect roll. Mm. He does have a good roll, not a perfect one though, since he has double blue, but still, still it's a good roll. He will probably win, or not. Uh, wait. No, no, no. Okay. I will win. Easy. Okay. And now, for the third win, let's go with the Watchmaker. Safe. Yo, DC. Hi, Shaggy. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. <laughs> Hi, man. I didn't have time to prepare for you that file. But I will do it this weekend. Perfect roll! Come on, guys! Watchmaker. One and two. Yeah, those shocks will be absorbed. Easy. That stair will be tough. But I will. I will deal with it. And also, I will deliver that stair to him. So. Again, the Tempus Guild is crazy. Now the thing here is here, guys. They are all good, but you don't want to sacrifice in this team the Watchmaker the, and the Eternal. Those two are pillars of the team. Now we want to use Lord Tempus as well. The announcer. So we have limited options, I think. I will remove Waliwaktu and try with Dolorian here. But they are so strong together that maybe the first team I did was the best one. I think. Now, the Lorian. Oh, so in the lower leagues, Chichis is going good. And I know why he's so strong. I will start with the Lorian here. Now, with all these tempos, your opponent should be. Careful. Ooh, great fireball portion. Also, hmm, okay. Yet maybe he can win. He does not have a good roll, but no no he, he will not win. That's fine. Okay. So, oh, I want Faceless to attack, so then Lord Tempus could copy his powerful blow. Oh, we have Armada with just, oh, with just level 2. Hmm. That's interesting. Now here, Chichizi is so strong, guys. I don't know. I don't think we can beat him. Not with a good roll. Maybe with the Watchmaker. I will try with the Watchmaker, but I'm not sure. No worries in here. <laughs> yeah. You guys should know that Shaggy is a great PT, personal trainer. And I'm gonna help him with learning, and he's gonna help me with my physique, so we have a deal. Okay, we have a good roll. Okay, maybe with this one we can actually win, since he did not activate his second skill 4. Yeah, we have a chance. Also, Fireball is gonna help me. Very good. 
he did not have a great role. That's why I was able to win. With another blue or another red, I would have lost. So, and now, Lord Tempus, come on! Lord Tempus here will concentrate on shock and the second déjà vu, since the first one is going to be pretty useless. But the first one. Oh, I want something fun. Oh, that's what I wanted. <laughs> I will copy his strength and powder. Oh yeah, that's it's gonna be fun, guys. Just oh yeah, that's what I wanted. That's great. We're gonna destroy him with powder. That's the great feature. <laughs> of the Tempus Guild. <laughs> 4,000! Great! Great Lord Tempus! I really like that. So, the Lorian performed well. Now, hmm, let me think. Yeah, the poor observer. The observer, I, I really like the observer since he is the only one with Deja Vu in second skill. So that's a, an interesting feature. But also, yeah, I will play him like that. So now we have a full Deja Vu team. That's very interesting. But still, I think Cronion is more useful. So as for now, we just won. So ooh, now we have camo team, saps and anxera. So start with the eternal. The eternal is a dangerous threat to both camo and anxera, and also a walker of course. Okay, he went safe for the buffer, that's a great choice. So I will keep those two and search for blues. Perfect! Perfect roll, come on, we are so lucky today. I the Tempus maybe are now are my favorite guild, I think. There are a lot of different uh, teams now in the metagame that can be strong though. It's a pretty safe and uh, sorry, safe um sane, I wanted to say sane metagame. He is it's good to play now. It's not like there are some OP monsters that will devour your your season, like Marlock, Anxera and Silene used to do. Now they don't anymore. There's more variety now. Of course those cards are still good, but you can use Runix, you can use Tempus, you can use Nods, even Kotovas, Zeals. You can use I will go with Watchmaker. Okay, Deja Vu, single one, why not? Okay, that's a good roll. Taraxa, <laughs> that's fine. So he, he will deliver a lot of shocks. But I should be able to overcome him. I will deliver a fireball and then copy his heal, so yep. Another win. Hmm. So easy, guys. So easy. It's almost too easy. And now Lord Tempus <laughs> will copy with Deja Vu Camel's skills and Anxeras skills. So he will not be able to win this game. Sorry, man. Sorry, Kaiser, but the Tempus are so strong. Now, against Anxera, we can do something funny. Oh, the, uh, what was the, the last skill activated? I forgot. It was... Oh, it was not so good, so... I will search for another yellow. Okay, that's what I wanted. Okay, that's the role I wanted. It's, it's perfect! Come on, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna use two times his eclipse combo. 
of course it's gonna be less strong since we don't we don't have plus damage but we're gonna activate it two times <laughs> look at that sorry Ank Tempus are too strong for you you're just a beast yeah I, I am <laughs> I won I win so much when I use when I use Tempus <laughs> I really like to win this way now, so guys, the Tempus Guild is pretty straightforward to use right now. You have this new Tempus, Lord Tempus, that's incredible. You have the announcer, that's the most uh, tactical hero. You have the Eternal, that's one of the best, if not the best, uh, buffer in the whole game. You have the Watchmaker, that's f important. And, now, and then you have the fifth slot. Uh, these four are pretty much untouchable and maybe you can, if you want, you can remove Lord Tempus, but I think he is so good you don't want to miss him. And then as a fifth slot you can use Waliwaktu, you can use Dolorean, you can use the Observer, or you can use uh, Cronion, they are both good, they are uh, all four good. I think uh, Lady of Destiny and the Jailer are less strong, the other one are all of them are good, I think. So probably, probably the best combination is still this one. I think so. This one is 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 gonna mess with your opponent so much. I will play it again. So much in lower leagues. Oh, again, a friend of mine, Ai Scaglia, hi man. In lower leagues, I was saying. This, this team is gonna mess so much your opponent that you will win easy, easy, fair square. Okay. I will go for the win. Oh, bad roll here. Okay, it's okay, we're gonna lose. I should have gone for the um, dodge, but still, it's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. I wanted to win so much. Okay, now, Ogwekage is tough. But I think Cronion is a great card against him. Since we have Portal and Backstab. Let's see if we can win. It's not gonna be easy. That's for sure. Okay, that's that's pretty much the best roll we can get. Let's hope he does not. Oh, <laughs> man! Hi, Jen. <laughs> man, <laughs> this guy is something. <laughs> okay. 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 We're gonna lose, probably. Yeah, <laughs> it, for perfect roll, it was the only roll we could have done to win. Okay, now, he's gonna come at me with Gemini. So I'm gonna go with the announcer here. It's tough, this game is tough. It's tough. Lord Tempus with shocks, maybe? No, I think the announcer can win, and we need Lord Tempus for later. I think Lord Tempus can be great against Malaskalia. Now, with a roll like that, we will. Ooh, no dodge, that's great for us. That's great. We will easily win against Gemini. Oh, not that easily, but still, I think we're gonna win. Are we though? <laughs> Maybe I underestimated that? No, no, okay. We should. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's fine. And now. Okay, against Malascaria, Lord Tempus is a great pick, I think. Since his mimic will attack my shield and copy nothing, and then with my deja vu, I will copy maybe. 
Oh, he's stench. That's not so good, but dodge will be useful. So I will go with Lord Tempus here. Okay, my Deja Vu later will copy his hit, so that's, that's a good one. And Shock will be good. Okay, so we have a good roll. Mm, perfect roll for him too. So let's see if I did a correct prediction of this matchup or not. Seems like I did. Yep. Now he's gonna hit me. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, against Ogwes. Mm, shame. Yeah, but I was I was uh, sure to win, or almost sure. He had just one roll to beat me and did roll that with Ogwe. Okay, now he cannot beat this roll, I guess. So we won again. This time was more difficult, we needed to think, but I did the correct moves, I, I guess, I think. Yeah, against Malascaria, Lord Tempus was great. Sorry, Tsuro. Not enough. Okay, perfect. Another win. I think in this <laughs> stream we're gonna we're gonna go up to Champion League. Yeah, this team is so strong, but I want to change things up. So this is probably the best one, but I want to change things up for you guys. Otherwise, it's gonna be a bit uh, repetitive. So we're gonna say hi to the announcer and enter the dragon. And then, yeah, we'll try like that. They're all good combination, I think. As long as you have a good lineup of the best Deja Vu heroes, all teams are gonna work. Now Yaz, hmm, Yaz is dangerous. But Watchmaker, Watchmaker is good both against Yaz and Silene. Should be, at least. Or maybe if Yaz avoids Berserk, it's gonna be tough, but... Okay, and now he wants to uh, avoid Rage, sorry, and go full Berserk and Repost. So we need... Hmm. Yeah, I will go with Fireball, nevertheless. I don't care. Okay, let's do that. Let's do this. Okay, he went for Berserk as I thought. No rage. Okay. I don't know if... Okay, at least we're not gonna hit with the last one, so we're gonna win. Okay, so it was good. Also, the fact that now Tempus has two heroes with great unmodifiable damage, uh, being Lord Tempus and the Eternal, they are, pre they are pretty versatile against um, Nihans or powerful dodge users or the Eternal, so I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna copy him. No, the third, the third one Deja Vu is not so strong since he's not gonna copy anyone anything. So I'm gonna go for just blues and reds. And not perfect, but still good. Oh! Yeah, so he's gonna win, but at least we're gonna <laughs> buff twice. Oh, or not win. No, 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 we won also. Lord Tempus is strong. Guys, I delivered two dodges, and now we'll deliver two more. Come on, let's use a thanks emo emoji. Thanks. Uh, again, I want... Ooh. So he is using Deja Vu, so he can copy my powerful shock. So I will avoid it and go for the full blue because I want to mess with him 
Now, Cronion and Waliwaktu <laughs> have four dodges each. <laughs> so against Silene, but especially Malaskarian, they're gonna win so much. Okay. And now, Malaskarian does not have a chance. Not a single chance. Silen has with with uh, multiple hits, but maybe Waliwaktu can win against Silene. I don't know. Perfect troll. But later Cronion, I think, can win. Mm. Okay, we will still dodge the death stretch there. I don't know if we're gonna be able to win. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> easily easily won with Waliwaktu, so... Guys, this team is so strong. We're gonna change things up again and remove our friend Watchmaker and use it with DeLorean. Let's see if it can work even in this, this way. Even though I think, we were gonna try all the combination, but I think Watchmaker is fundamental for the team, so. Anyway, Hime. Now, I don't want to copy Hime's buff since it's, I don't know, it's for, but still, oh, I'm sorry guys, this noise was my lamp, that collapsed. I don't know why. But I will go with Lord Tempus. So it's gonna be a scary lamp for someone in this in this stream. My lamp collapsed. Maybe I was too strong with my deja vu and it collapsed. So maybe I can copy ooh three up to three times his old dodge. So oh he he did a he did good. He avoided the dodge. Okay, so this time Lord Tempus was not useful. It's okay. It's okay. GG to you. That was a good pick. Let's go with Dolorean. Dolorean can lose against Kurokage, but that's fine. Since I think I can win with Mastermind and Gakusha and possibly the third one. Okay, also. Okay, give me a red. Not perfect, but still good. Okay. Kurokage is gonna be tough to beat, but I think Lord uh, the Eternal can do that. Master Mado. No, Master Mado is not a problem. We're gonna beat him. Oh, Sueco. Sueco is tough. Hmm. We need. Hmm. We need to win with Waliwaktu, I think, or Cronion, and then go. We're gonna lose against Sueco, I think. I'm gonna go with Waliwaktu here. Should be. Good against Masterma, especially with double berserk or a perfect roll like that. Okay, that's fine. It's gonna be easy. Okay, and then what's the deal will will here? Well, the Eternal is good. So yeah, we're gonna attack with the, the Eternal. But if we, if we lose with the Eternal, then Cronion is gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be tough for him. So now it's a win or lose situation. We we need to win with the Eternal. Otherwise, okay. So Echo. So now we need a perfect roll, and we have a great start. Double deja vu on his fireball. Yeah, definitely. Okay, we have a perfect roll. We can beat. And we will. So echo. So again, another clean win. Uh, so as you can see, for uh, 
for the ladder, so for climbing up the lower leagues, this this team is is crazy. Another win, and we're gonna be in champion. Or we're gonna be in champion right now. I don't know. No, I think with another one. Yep, another one. So we need another one. The third win. And I don't want to play Lady of Destiny and the Jailer since I think they are suboptimal. The other eight heroes are much more effective. So there, there are ten tempus. Eight of them are great. Two of them are situational. So they are not bad. Don't get me wrong. But they are situational. So for the last win, I'm going to go with the original team, the one that I think is the best, again. That's the best one, I think. So, hipster number one is our opponent, so... Hmm... Mm -mm -mm. I'm not sure here how, how to play. I will start with Lord Tempus, but I'm not sure we can win. Okay, against Captain, probably. Deja Vu, what will copy? Buff strength, I don't care for that. So I will go for Deja Vu, will not be useful. Oh, come on. I wanted more shocks. Oh, no strength buff. But maybe we can, yeah, we will lose, I think. Okay, we will deliver two powders. That's are they gonna be enough? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. So we won. That's not bad. Lord Tempus is a surprise. Now Silene. Mm. As for Silene, I think the announcer can be quite effective with Smite. I will go with the announcer, hoping that I will activate Smite. Okay, that's the perfect roll with a red. Okay, that's the perfect roll. Should be good. Okay. Yeah, we will win. <laughs> Another simple win. They have incredible matchup, this this portal guys. Can you hear my washing machine? I can hear it so clearly. It's so noisy. I hate the washing machine. Okay now. The eternal is the, the man. The Inzar is gonna be destroyed. So he needs to come at me with Big Daddy. Oh no, this this way, hipster, I don't think you're gonna win. Dimizar is so weak to the eternal. Perfect roll or almost. No, even not even with a perfect roll, you cannot win. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Even though life drain, maybe I underestimated the life drain. No, I did not. Cannot win. Clear win again. I'm unstoppable. <laughs> this, okay, Champion League. That's fine. Things are gonna change here. So now, is there another way to play Lord Tempus uh, instead of the one that, that we are doing right now? I don't think so. <laughs> so he needs, he needs, uh, he needs to be alongside his friends but maybe we can try something with a buffer and we have four Tempus guys uh -huh. with a different buffer so I think I'm gonna go with DeLorean and I will try 
with Carcasse here. Let's try a different team. I don't think it's strong, as strong as the team before, but why not? Another other shield is always a good pick. Who true demigod? Who? He has a low self-esteem, I guess. The rabbit Talender. A card I really like, but I also don't know how to use. I almost always lost with it. Okay now, Hank Sera. Hmm. Hank Sera, we are in defense, it's not a good situation. It does not have the fourth roll, so I don't know. I will try with Lorian, but it's a long shot. Okay, we have a good roll, but okay, we have a perfect roll. But with a perfect roll from Anxara, we're gonna lose anyway. I think. I don't know with the roll. This this is not a perfect roll. It's a good one though. Let's see. Yeah, he's gonna beat us anyway. Yep. Anxara as an attacker is still dangerous. And the only card in the Tempus Guild that can deal with an attacker Anxara is the Observer. Hmm. I will go with the Watchmaker here. The matchup between Watchmaker and Watchmaker is somehow tough. But I am in attack and I have an advantage. My Deja Vu can copy something. His Deja Vu will not copy anything. So I have an advantage. I have the edge on Sueco too. And Rabbit Talender, of course. So that's that was a good pick. Rabbit Talender, so he sacrificed. Easy win. We will not trigger his Berserk. We are not affected by his backstab. I hope he will attack with Soeko and we will copy. And we will, sorry, we will use uh, Carcassa then. Alud is not so easy to deal with. Let's see what true demigod does. Okay, I will go with the Carcassa here to maximize my buff. Okay, good buff. Ooh, great buff here. Now <laughs> the game games is a bit different with all this shield. Ah, I miss the times when a roll like that with Carcasse almost surely was equal to a win. No, I, I do not miss those times, to be honest. <laughs> it was bad. The meta was crazy. Okay, so now we have to win. Now, Lord Tempus is great as an attacker. Oh, the announced eyes, I... Oh, what a, f a crazy idiot I am. The announcer was not the one I wanted in the team. The observer was the one. It was the, yeah, I, I missed. Mm. It's going to be almost impossible to win against Sueco. If he uses Soeco against Lord Tempus, I'm, I'm gonna win, maybe with a loot, I don't know. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Bad, bad, bad decision. Deja Vu, that's what I wanted. Okay. Double Deja Vu should be good. Okay. 
Okay, okay. So we're gonna win against Alud, but we're not gonna win against Soeko because I made a mistake and the announcer was not the one I wanted in the team because it's not a, 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 a mage, of course. So now, let's hope he does not roll a crazy amount of thorns. We have a perfect smite. He does, he does have a crazy amount of thorns, so we will probably lose. Yeah, I made a mistake when I was building the team. I was, I didn't pay attention to it. Okay. Yeah, we lost, but just because I made that mistake, otherwise we would have won with all that shield, so... Yeah, so... I will try again with this mage team, even though it's not as strong. But yeah, the announcer was the one, the observer, sorry. Yeah, I mean, that stupid... Oh, let's hope we, we are not doing other mistakes. No, we are not. Okay. This time is perfect. Ha! I hate when things like that happen. Oh, we have finally Dragon's Lay where we're with a perfect... with a perfect Zeal team. And that's a good team. It is indeed. Now, Lord Tempus can beat Marduk. I think. So I will go with, with Lord Tempus, but Krakos is gonna be harder to win to win with. Blanche is gonna be easy, but if he comes at me with Blanche, okay no, you, he uses Marlock. Oh bad roll. I mean nods team, yeah, nods, I'm sorry. Okay, as you can see. This team is a bit ah, tough to use since I have, I does not have I do not have the fourth roll. Yeah, with a perfect roll I would have won, but this way. Okay, now I think Carcassa can beat Blanche, and that's a good one. But if he comes comes at me with Eglantine, yeah. I will go with Carcasse uh, again, yeah. Okay, we have a good a good roll, maybe? No. Oh, again! Carcasse loves me. Oh. That's good for our... Ooh, no way. No way! We're gonna... Oh, we're gonna win and also buff three times, that's... So luck, so much luck, I can't even... Ah, that's crazy. I'm sorry, Dragon Slayer. I will say thanks. And now... He's, ca he's coming at me with Blanche. So I will go with Watchmaker. Watchmaker can win. Valkyrian is a great card. Okay, good roll. For us, enough to beat Blanche. That's almost certain. Don't think Blanche has a single roll to beat that. Okay, it's gonna buff two times. So it's not uh, automatically won this game. It can still win. Kinda. But if we play, if we have a good good rolls, we will win, I think. Now, Dolorean is our best pick since she has Fireball. Hmm. Now. But also. Also, our observer 
with his Deja Who will copy the last skill from Valkyrian since Krakos. So yeah, I will go with Lauren here and try to win, of course, but if we lose, then our, our Observer will be strong since he will copy this double lightning here. Yeah, it's gonna be so strong. Okay, we don't have a good roll. Okay, but now our Observer is very much is very strong thanks to the deja vu. I don't know if that will be enough since my dead stair is not so strong against Krakos, but we have a we, we can win. It's not it's not easy, it's not already won, but we, we have a good a solid chance if we have a good roll. Now let's hope Krakos do not roll free free reds. Okay, that's a good start, but we need a blue to win. Without a blue, oh no, this way we're not gonna win. We needed that blue. That's why it's dangerous to play, yeah, without Colossi. Maybe with that blue we would have won. I don't know. Well, Krakos is maybe too strong anyway. I don't know. No, I, th I, I think we could have won. Yeah, that's bad. Okay, that was a, a lose, but this team, of course, is not as strong as the other one. So it was just something to <laughs> try something different. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to do a last game with the best, the best team. I think possible with the Tempus. This team right here is the best one, I think. And then I'm gonna close the stream for today. Now we are in Champions League and as you can see it's a bit more difficult to climb. Opponents will not forgive your error and especially Mukun. Man, one of the best players in the history of this game. There are probably 20 or at, at most 30, 40 players that can rival with Mukun. He's in the top 20 or, or so heroes of the arena. No, come on. Oh, okay. He was, he was only thinking. So now I should be careful too, since he's using a full monozil team sealed and ready to go. So I need to carefully plan my action. Okay, the Eternal. Turn is always a good pick against Caravan. Come on. Oh, come on! Okay. Almost perfect roll should be enough to win. Let's hope so, but I think it's we're good to go. So the first one is a win and we're gonna buff twice. So that's a great start for us. Against Mukun, we're gonna. If we win, we're gonna gain at least ten points. I guess. I don't know where he is in the in the master league, but I think he is in top fifteen as as usual. So now, oh, the announcer combo. That's a good one. Again, the announcer after Caravan. It's difficult to to handle, but also the eternal uh, the Lord Tempus would have been the same. So keep in mind how strong it is to have Deja Vu and first skill after a massive beast like Caravan is in the arena. He is thinking now. He has Marlox Golem. Marlox Golem is a problem. We need to keep Cronion ready. Uh, okay, so he went for Marlox Golem. 
Ah, uh, well, trick. Mm, so <laughs> he's probably gonna win, nevertheless, since Marux Golem has repost, and with this deja vu will will trigger the repost. But we will try anyway. Okay, we have a perfect roll, but I don't know if that will be enough. It was a powerful, powerful fireball. But will it be enough? I'm not sure. Fortunately, you rolled this yellow here. That's our only chance of survival. But we are not gonna survive anyway. Okay, that's fine. So he wasted Marlock's Golem on us. That's good. No one said this game was gonna be easy. <laughs> now, Selene. So Selene uses shield and terror. I think Lord Tempus can be effective against her, so I will go with it. Yep. The, the second Deja Vu does not... is not interesting to me. I prefer the first one and then to use my powerful shocks, so I will not suffer at all his terror nor his minus damage for on fireball. It will it will be all unmodifiable damage here. That's fine. Let's see who's best at unmodifiable damage. And I think I am. And I definitely am. That was a good pick. Look at how Lord Tempus won against a tough, tough attacker like Selene. Now, we have our dodges and that's good, but we need to consider Watchmaker's Deja Vu here. Hmm. Yeah, I will attack with the Watchmaker. Since Coronion has good rolls against Malascaria with all yellows and reds, I think, and the Watchmaker is strong both against the Shadow and Malascaria as an attacker, so that's good. I guess Malascaria maybe a full red roll would be perfect. Is thinking mm. the shadow okay with our deja vu we're gonna copy his powerful hit hmm. so we have a good roll let's roll with it <laughs> I know someone is gonna use this segment I think we can win. Oh yes, we definitely can and we will. That's great guys. Against Mukun that was uh, another another um, if was needed, another confirmation of the strength, absolute strength of this team. This team is top meta guys. There I said it. Yeah, it is. It is suited for top of the metagame. 11 points, that's GG, GG easy. So guys, Tempus are great for lower leagues, they are great for upper leagues. And you want to have Lord Tempus in your full Tempus Guild team, so let's go, let's go play this weekend since you cannot miss Lord Tempus in the chess. Guys, we'll see, we'll see each other probably on Monday, I think, for the Monday release of the week. And for today, have a good playing weekend. We're gonna see each other in a while. Bye, guys.